Um, you told me you wanted me to go to Congress to be an independent voice. I was. I have been and I will be. You told me to go to Congress to uh, stand up to my party when they do those nonsensical votes about Obamacare. I did that. You told me you, want me you wanted me to establish myself as bipartisan. I did that. And so many other things. I'll, I, I have a copy of the endorsement here. You should, if you go back and read it, it's really, um, pr I'm quite proud of the fact that I've done what you wanted me to do and I've done what all of Central New York has wanted me to do. It's not an accident that uh, um, I, I have more bills passed than any freshman in this term. In fact, more bills passed than any freshman probably in the last 20, 30 years at least, if not the entire history of our country. I think about that. It got, compared to our, my predecessors, a difference I've made. 15 bills passed the House. Every single one of those bills, the very first co-sponsor was a Democrat. Right? That's being bipartisan. And of those 15 bills, six were signed by a Democratic president into law. And there's more coming. And I'm roundly considered by most groups as being one of the most independent members in all of Congress. And I'm also roundly considered uh, to be one of the most uh, bipartisan members in all, all, of, uh, all of Congress. And it's, it's why it's no wonder out of the 27 districts in this state, congressional districts, there's only one that the New York Times uh, took, uh, st stepped out and said, I'm gonna endorse a Republican. They endorsed me because they said, I'm the type of Republican that we need moving forward in this country. And I'm, I'm quite proud of that. I'm not proud because of some label and some endorsement. I'm more proud of what it represents. And what it represents is I understand that there's Democrats. I understand that there's Republicans. I understand that there's independents. I understand that I represent them all. And I feel like they've been well represented. And based on the response I'm getting and the support I'm getting, I think that they, under, they, they agree with that too. John says that he's you know, been an independent. He's sure spending a lot of special, special interest money to tell everybody that he's been an independent. A lot of money from the NRA, a lot of money from uh, uh, special groups, a lot of money from the National Republicans to let people know he's an independent. You know, he might say that he's bipartisan and that he's an independent, but when the chips are down, he does not vote in the district's <coughs> interests. He does not support federal legislation that would prevent somebody who's on the no-fly list from being able to purchase a gun. He promised he wouldn't vote to defund Planned Parenthood, and since he's been in office, he's done that four times. He's somebody, when he ran, he said he wanted to focus on poverty and making working on poverty a number one priority, create mentorship programs, and since he's been in office, he's done nothing to address the drastic poverty levels that we have here in the city. So for somebody to say that he is working across the aisle and getting things done as an independent leader, it really shows where his money comes is what he's really focused on. He said when he ran against Dan Maffei, you are where you get your money from, and I think it's pretty obvious John is where he gets his money from. John? Oh my. I guess, oh my, uh, that's all I can say with that. Listen, if all those things were true, and, and everything she threw at me was true, uh, New York Times wouldn't endorse me. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be rated one of most independent members of Congress. That's, th those things are just hyperbole. Those are just little PowerPoints you memorize as part of some debate strategy. But you know what, it's not going to work, because people know that I've been, a, I've been a very independent person, and I'm getting support from all, all across the spectrum.